Yes, you you did read the title of this video uh, correctly. Yes, that was that was intentional. No, it was not a mistake. And no, I'm not going to qualify this with its own full intro. Hi there, my name is Michael. I'm a bartender from Kalamazoo, Michigan. Frankly, this video is half a gag, uh, half uh, I actually kind of wanted to try this because today we're gonna look at a variation of the Cosmopolitan, the cocktail we looked at this past Friday, that called the Con a, 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 a Constopolitan. Dumb name aside, uh, it's a riff on a Cosmopolitan that substitutes the cranberry juice for prune juice. I know I don't look it, but yes, I have had my fair share of prune juice uh, in my life, and I'm only 24, yes, but that's not the point. <laughs> I have a fair share of prune juice. It is distinctly more berry-like, a more rich, fruity flavor, but also more earthy and less bitter than cranberry juice. And in the context of a Cosmo, I actually thought that it would work pretty well. <laughs> I was actually kind of excited. I, I was looking up um, stuff uh, to put at the end of the Cosmo video. I discovered its link to gay rights. Uh, I discovered you know the complexity of its history. I, I discovered the Punch Magazine article, all this stuff. When I was going through everything, I came across this listing on barnundrinks.com attributed to a Jack Etzweiler, who I could find nothing about, for this cocktail called the Constopolitan. And the joke is, it has prune juice in it, so raise a toast and hold on tight or whatever, I guess. I don't fucking know. Point being, we're gonna make a Constopolitan um, because I thought, I thought it'd be fun. It's that That's really the only reason. <laughs> Let's make a Constopolitan, I guess. So, seeing as how um, we, we had a brief discussion uh, last video about the complexity of the Cosmopolitan's history, I'm gonna do this one a little bit differently than we did our original Cosmo. I'm going to use uh, Toby Caccini's spec, which is two to one to one to one, um, for the sake of just trying a different kind of cocktail, because I thought it'd be interesting just to compare them, more or less. Without further ado, let's uh, make make a, a Constopolitan. I hate that name, wow. I'm cutting into these limes, and it's a real shame that these limes are getting getting cut up for a Constopolitan, man. <laughs> We're gonna start with one ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice. Follow that up with an ounce of our orange liqueur. Gotta crack open our can of, our can of prune juice. God damn. Honestly, it's really good. You know, I mean, people talk shit on prunes, but they're just dried plums, and it tastes like raisins. You're all cowards. <laughs> One ounce of our prune juice. Finally, we need two ounces of vodka, and I don't have any more lemon vodka, and I'm not buying anymore. I'm moving in about a month here, and I don't have the space to carry or store a bunch of extra spirits, so I'm just gonna do uh, as, as much lemon vodka as I can and fill out the rest with regular vodka because that was also a thing done back in the day. I don't know. I'm gonna grab some ice and we're gonna shake this uh, to chill and dilute. Can't believe I'm wasting these kind of nice ice cubes on a drink called a Constipolitan. We're gonna cap this up, tap it down, shake for 12 to 15 seconds to chill and dilute. I'm gonna grab those uh, cocktail coupe, you know, one of those cocktail coupes I bought earlier today because I thought they were really pretty and they were only a buck at Goodwill, so why not? <laughs> gonna grab our cocktail strainer and just pour this into the glass. <laughs> You're shitting me. Oh my God. <laughs> that That is ridiculous. <laughs> Holy shit. Just like with a regular Cosmo, we're gonna go ahead and cut a wheel of lime, garnish the rim like that. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a Constopolitan. Wow. Every time I look at this damn thing, it's just like, why? <laughs> so I've cleaned up my station uh, as much as I would want to for uh, trying a Constopolitan as we go ahead and take a sip. Cheers. I'll be damned, it kind of works. <laughs> What's really coming through here about this is that prune juice and cranberry juice, in terms of the way that they present uh, in flavor, are not particularly distinct from one another. I mean, there's a definite difference happening here. The prune is, you know, less tart, more earthy, and maybe there's a little bit more sweetness to it. But in the context of vodka, Cointreau, and lime juice paired up alongside that, the flavor composition is very, very similar. 
And that's not to dog it, it is its own thing for sure. And it's not unenjoyable, actually. Um, it's, it's just, it's just why? <laughs> Drier than my preferred Cosmo spec. In fact, this one actually has, I think, some more bitterness on the very back end. It's a light bitterness, um, but it shows through more than a Cosmo, which reads more tart. Um, this is definitely more towards the bitter, like back of the tongue, herbaceous umami kind of thing going on, which is almost certainly because of the prune. It's not bad, but like, look at the damn thing. Why would you, <laughs> why would you let this happen? <laughs> Shit is weird, man. Yeah, man, I don't know. Um, that's literally all I had for you. There's jack shit else about this drink that needs to be said. I could find no existence of a Jack Etzweiler. In fact, when I looked up their name on Google, I got a bunch of local obituaries. So hopefully they're still alive and having a good time. I, there, uh, there's nothing to say. <laughs> there's a whole, a whole bunch of shit to take into consideration uh, when it comes to variations of Cosmos. I, just, I guess I just decided to show you the stupidest one I found. Uh, so that, ladies and gentlemen, is a, uh, is a, is a Constapolitan. I really fucking hate that name. Wow. I really did this, didn't I? I really spent my time doing this. My uh, socials are up on the screen. Follow me there if you want. If you want to occasionally see really stupid shit like this, Follow me here. I make a new video every Friday and then sometimes on Tuesday, like this video you're watching right now. Um, I'm gonna go make a TikTok and then order some Subway because I feel like if I don't put some food in my stomach, uh, this is going to run clean through me. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed. Remember, have a great rest of your afternoon. Please shit responsibly. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye. Oh, <laughs> hello. I didn't see you there. I was uh, just about to read our per episode entry from Chris Toasts. I, I hope you'll come join us. We continue from the section on absent friends with today's toast of, oh, here's to other meetings and merry greetings then, and here's to those we've drunk with, but never can again. Attributed to one Stephen Decatur. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day.